everybody and welcome to One Player Today, a special episode thanking you all for helping me get past 1,000 views on Lord of the Rings, the card game. Uh, one of my earlier videos um, and probably one of my most pop, well definitely one of my most popular um, and I just want to thank everybody for, uh, for, well, for checking it out, for uh, leaving it likes, leaving it comments. And getting to a thousand views, honestly, when I thought um, of starting this YouTube channel, I was, um, well, I wasn't expecting to get ten views, uh, let alone a thousand, so uh, I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Um, but I thought today, well, we'd give the people what they want. Let's do another quest. Today we're doing Journey along the Anduin. You know what? I made a mistake, and I've said, <laughs> I've said kind of actually quite vocally about this game that all the quests are too hard, the the core game doesn't give you enough cards or the, uh, good enough cards to, uh, to to beat the quests that are even included in it. Um, but I did it the wrong way around. I went to try and do um, like Escape from Dol Gundor or something like that and got absolutely slaughtered probably about four or five times and thought that this one was harder than that one and so never tried it. But actually um, upon <laughs> upon starting this video, I've realised that this is actually the second quest in in the series. Um, and yes, everyone line uh, everyone online agrees that Dol Gundur is absolutely impossible to play solo. Um, but this one, actually, I think we might have a chance. With that said, um, it's been some time since I've actually played the game. Uh, it's been a couple of months off, so I. I'm going to be rusty at best. There's going to be lots of rules consultations within this playthrough. Um, but essentially, if, if you're new to the game, I'll kind of I'll outline, uh, probably for my own benefit as well, what exactly what we're doing. Um, but I probably do. I'm probably going to do a better job of that in the previous video. So I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll link that um, somewhere on the screen so you can uh, so you can click it and check it out first. So we are doing a quest. Here we are. This is our quest card here to the river. Um, we've left the Mirkwood, uh, the Mirkwood Forest, um, and we have searched the encounter deck and placed on it a single hill troll. Um, the hill troll uh, stays there b until his um, until his threat or until our threat re reaches his threat level, which is 30. Our threat has started at 25 based on the heroes that we've chosen. Um, but we cannot move past this stage while any hill card trolls are in play. So we have to defeat this guy before moving through um, this river here. We have a starting hand of six cards, and we have our three heroes picked out here. So why don't we just get going? Um, each each turn is um, divided into seven phases. First is the resource phase, which, funnily enough, we use to get resources for our heroes. So yes, we we've placed a resource under each under each of our heroes. Um, I should say we've chosen uh, Dun here, Aowen and uh, Denethor for this um, particular quest. Um, that's a mixture of the spirit and I believe the lore factions. Um, and then I've kind of cobbled together, I, I didn't look at any deck builds or any like deck lists online before doing this, but I just kind of cobbled together what I thought would be a good bet. <laughs> um, and again, I'm playing only with the core set, so I don't have any expansions or any like, you know, any of the, the fancy cards. So let's just, I don't know, let's just see how it goes. So we've we've done our research. Uh, we've done our research. We've done our resource phase. Now it's time for the planning phase, in which we get to play cards. Now I'm not a hundred percent convinced. Oh, you know what? Yes, this is going to be a helpful card. I was thinking about Mulligan these cards, but I think they're actually okay. So this, especially once we travel to a location, we can exhaust the spirit character to place two progress tokens on that location. That's a pretty good bet and I think we probably will be traveling to somewhere because in the uh, in the staging area already is the East Bite um, which says that we must travel there um, on our travel phase if we've got nowhere else to travel. So let's move on to the questing phase and this is where we choose um, our heroes that we're going to contribute to the quest and then we stage another card into the staging area um, to add more to the enemy's threat level as well. Um, so we're, we're of course we're going to quest with Eowyn. She quests for four and that's her main job. Now we can discard a card from our hand. 
Mm, you know what, actually, uh, I'm going to go back as well and probably play this into into play. So the Wandering Turk, and I can, pl I can play two resources for my spirit heroes. So in, in this, the resource that you play has to match the resource on the card. So any lore cards we have in our hands, so for example this one, um, we're going to have to wait until Denethor has three resources to be able to play this. Which is fine, I and mean, it's a great card, so I'm happy to have it in my deck. Uh, but we're going to have to play his resources quite carefully. Um, so I'm throwing down Wandering Took, um, just so if anything comes out of here um, to attack us, then we've got some sort of line of defense. Um, back to questing. Eowyn's going to quest. Should Denethor quest? Well, you know what? We can exhaust him to look at the top card of the encounter deck, which I think is actually not a bad idea. I mean, I, c I can get one quest from him, which is which is fine. Um, I could also discard a card from my hand. Like this shuffles your discard pile back into your deck. That's gonna I'm gonna hang be hanging on to this card for a very long time, aren't I? I'm stuck already. Um, all right, let's just go ahead. We're questing for four, um, and we're gonna exhaust him to look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna put that at the bottom. <laughs> so that's the Dol Gundor orcs, and they uh, would contribute a quest of uh, sorry a threat of two. Um, no, only two damage and no defense, but yeah, I want to put this on the bottom because I'm going to hope that essentially this is a location card. Um, okay, so we're questing for four. We're going to stage with, aha, it is, even though it's two threat, so we are going to still be battling against four threat, which we're just going to be a white whitewash. Um, at least nothing's going to attack us. Um, so I feel okay about that decision. So what we're going to do, this forest, um, when, when while Enchanted Stream is the active location, players cannot draw cards. Okay, well that's fine. But this, um, moving on to the travel phase, we have to go to the East Bite. So we'll place this into like the... Um, place this into the active location. Uh, I'm playing on a bit of a makeshift table here, so you have to forgive. It's quite it's quite cramped, but I, uh, hopefully you can tell what's going on. So we've got staging up here, um, quest up here. This will be the location. This is our threat, and then this is kind of be my kind of area to play cards. Might move these over a little bit. Um, maybe that might work better. And but also I'm going to play. Um, well, encounter. We don't encounter either of, or we don't encounter this this fellow because our threat isn't high enough. Um, and so I can though play this event card, which after we travel to a location, um, we can exhaust the spirit character to place two progress tokens on that location. So it'll help us just kind of blast through, um, hopefully a little bit of the. Um, a little bit of this card. So let's exhaust our took. We'll place two progress on the east bite. Um, we can attack with done here and we can attack enemies in the staging area when he attacks alone. However, he'd have three attack and the troll has three defense, so it'd be pointless. So the combat phase is, is null and void and now we're going to go into refresh. So that means we move our threat up by one. We untap everybody, sorry, uh, unexhaust everybody here. And then we draw some cards in the resource phase. So we're going to add three resources again, one for each of our heroes. And we're going to draw a card for our hand. We've got a northern tracker. Um, after northern tracker commits to a quest, place one progress token on each location in the staging area. That's kind of cool. Wow, I need to get him out because we do have a location in the staging area and I would like to see it gone. Um, let's see. I can also play this attachment which gives um, which gives the location uh, one less threat, which might be a decent idea to do as well. Yeah, I think probably we will do that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay from Eowyn. We're going to put a power in the earth onto the enchanted stream. So that means the, it's getting negative one threat. So it's on one threat. The hill troll's on one threat. So we're facing a, a two threat right now, plus whatever's in the encounter deck. And I think that's probably all we can do. Use an enemy in the staging area. Man, this, this card is good, but not for right now. Like choose an enemy in the staging area until the end of the phase, that enemy doesn't contribute to threat. Well, that, that's great, but it's only one. So to be honest, 
it's not it's not a huge benefit i'd rather do this if we've got an enemy sitting in there with like you know four or five threat let's uh, so that was our planning phase let's quest um let's quest indeed shall we shall we peek again or should we have this gentleman quest with us this time I too kind of like being able to peek, to be honest. And can we discard a card? Well, yeah, I suppose we could. We could discard this one, I think, couldn't we? Let's discard this, and we'll get... We'll be up to five here, so we'll be questing with five, and then we're going to peek at the encounter. And we've got a Goblin Sniper for 48. Yes, that's fine. I will take him on, because we can we can attack him with done done here. So we're going to do, we're going to quest for five. We're going to pull this and add it here. So we've got one, um, two. Remember, because we're taking one off here. So one, two, three, four. So we're questing successfully um, for one. <laughs> so we're going to place one progress point um, again on the east bite. And we have to get six to move through this location. Um, so we've got about halfway. We've got our work cut out for us. Now then, travel. We don't need to travel because we're already there. Um, we go into our encounter phase, um, but essentially um, we're still pretty safe. The Goblin Sniper won't come out of his tree until we hit a uh, 48 threat, so he's fine. Uh, Hill Troll, he won't come down until we're 30, so we've still got a couple of rounds to prepare for him as well. So our combat phase, um, or sorry, our encounter phase is going to be kind of null and void once again. Um, however... Done here, again, can target enemies in the staging area when he attacks alone. When doing so, he gets plus one attack. So if we exhaust him and attack the Goblin Sniper with him, he is going to do three damage. The Goblin Sniper has zero defense. In fact, uh, the Goblin Sniper will die. And that means we don't have to use his ability, which forces us to um, take damage at the end of the combat phase. So... That's his ability, and that's why he is... Um, well, that's what he's there for, isn't it? I would like to find a way to do some damage to this hill troll, but I don't... I can't think of a way to do it. We need to, en we need to encounter him uh, and bring him into combat, which doesn't feel great right now, because he's swinging for six, and we don't have anyone really at all that's ready for that. <laughs> um, let's refresh. So we're going to 27, and we're going to unexhaust our heroes and then in the resource phase we're going to pull some resources and we're going to pull another card now we've got three on him which here we go I think this is where we can use the forest snare so if we engage the hill troll because we are able to engage um, the enemies from the staging area uh, voluntarily before they would automatically engage. So if we engage the hill troll, trap him with the forest snare so he cannot attack, then we can just smack him with done here uh, until he dies. It will take a while, but I think that's the way to go. Um, and it would get him out of the staging area too, so maybe we will quest more successfully, I don't know. Possible, 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 possible. The only trouble is I'm going to have to engage with him first because I can only play this during my planning phase and I can only play this onto an enemy that is currently engaged. So that's a bit annoying because if we block the hill troll with the wandering took, um, he's going to do six damage and we have to add five to our threat level, which is a bit more than I would like to. <laughs> We could, I suppose, block him with Denethor, but then then we'd have Denethor on one health. Which I suppose isn't the worst thing in the world, because we'll just, we'll just avoid him, or try to avoid him getting hurt for the rest of the game. Oh, I know we've got, some, we've got some cards that can heal in here too, so hopefully, maybe, maybe hopefully, maybe hopefully, we'll do it. So let's quest. We're going to quest with Eowyn again. And we're going to not discard a card this time, um, and so we're questing for four. We're trying to beat a one and a t Oh, this is a one, so we're trying to beat two still. Um, and I'm going to keep this guy not exhausted, um, because I want to have the opportunity to defend with him, maybe, if we need to. So let's see what we're bringing in here. It's another Goblin Sniper. 
If Goblin Sniper is in the staging area at the end of the combat, each player deals one point of damage to one character he controls. Okay, hear me out here. I think... We can't travel, so that's our that's our oh, that's our quest done, right? So we've got one, two, three, four. So we're we're flat again. We've got no progress points. We can't travel. So when we encounter, do we choose to encounter? <laughs> do we choose to encounter the hill troll? That is the question. I think the answer is yes. I think we must. I think that we must. We're going to have to encounter the hill troll. So we'll bring him down from the staging area. Um, again, this is where my kind of makeshift table doesn't um, doesn't quite have enough room to, uh, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> we'll bring him down from the staging area. He is encountered. Um, we won't encounter this guy because we're going to pick him off with Dunn here, and we're going to block with Denethor and take two damage. I think it's a bit risky, but I think that's what we're going to do. So moving into combat. In combat, the enemy will get a shadow card, uh, some sort of shadow damage or some special effect, potentially. And then... So if we do this, he's going to swing for six. We're going to have to raise it by th three. Oh yeah, wait, if he's swinging for six and we're defending for three, he's going to die. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was going to be okay. So we are going to have to defend with the Wandering Took because we, we don't want Denethor to die. Do we have anything? We've got this Cancel Shadow Effect just triggered in combat. So depending on what the Shadow Effect is, we might need, we might need that. Um, I just wish we could play this. Ugh, that's frustrating. I thought we could play it, but attachments you can only play in your planning phase, not during combat. So that sucks. <laughs> so we're going to defend him with the Wandering Took. Um, so the Hill Troll is going to attack the Wandering Took. We're going to resolve the Shadow Effect if there is one, which there is not, thankfully. And then the Hill Troll is going to do six damage. So six Minus one is five. He's done two damage. Oh yeah, of course. So we, he's not going to do five. So we've done two damage to the Wandering Took. And that means he's got five minus two, which is three. So we're up to 30, which isn't terrible. I mean, some some decks honestly start on 30, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, the Wandering Took is dead, however. Um, but now the Hill Troll is engaged. We're not going to attack him. What we are going to do is attack the sniper, where we tap, uh, we exhaust Dun here, <laughs> we give him plus one damage, so he does three to zero, which means the sniper is taken care of. Now we've only got one threat in the staging area, which, which bodes well for our questing next turn. Now we could actually still use Denethor, exhaust him and look at the top of the encounter deck, because... We can do that next turn as well if we wanted to, but why not just do it now and then before the refresh phase? So I think we'll do it now. Treacherous Fog. Each location in the staging area gets plus one until the end of the phase. Then each player with a threat of 35 or higher chooses and discards one card from his hand. I don't really mind that, actually. I mean, it'll put this up to two, but to be honest, that's probably better than a lot of things that it could be. So I'm just going to leave that in there. We're going to refresh... And we move up to 31. Remember, when this gets to 50, it's game over. So we're trying to get through this as basically as quickly as possible. Because every every round adds one to it. And not to mention this bloody hill troll. So now we're going to go into our resource phase. And we are we're pretty flush, to be honest. Look at that. 3, 2, and a 4. Denethor's just sitting on all, all of his resources. Like, I'm waiting, guys. I'm waiting to spend something. We're going to pull this, which says reduce one player's threat by 6. That's tempting. Bring us back down to 25 where we started from. That is, that's pretty good. And we've got enough, we've got enough to do it. Although, maybe we'd like to put this ranger out as well. After Northern Jack commits to a quest, we'd get to place the, tr the, the progress token on there. Which means we could actually, we could possibly finish the East Bite this turn. Let's leave this one for now. We're going to play, so we're in our planning phase obviously, uh, if you couldn't tell I'm, I'm making a plan. So we're going to do this, we're going to spend four to cast him, four uh, spirit resources, so that's two from Eowyn and two from Dun here, and then we're going to play three uh, lore resources to attach the forest snare to the hill troll. Now the hill troll cannot attack, and that is good news because he was going to be belting us 
for a solid six. So, we've got the Northern Tracker out, we've got our Forest Snare out, things are going seemingly quite well, which makes me feel very suspicious in this game, because of course, uh, this game likes to surprise and torture. And did I pull a card last turn? Oh yeah, I did, it was this one, yep. Okay, so we've done planning, now we're gonna quest. We know what's up here, and it's a, uh, it's, it is a, what is it, a treachery thing. <laughs> treachery thing, yep, there you go. Um, treachery thing. Now, that means that this will be two. So this will be two. Um, we'll be questing for four, which means we'll only put... Ah, we're going to quest with this person, though, too, aren't we? So, yeah, okay, perfect. This is perfect. All right, so we're going to quest with this this one. Um, a this one. We're going to quest with Eowyn. Wonderful Eowyn. And we're going to quest with the Northern Tracker. Now, as soon as he commits to the quest, we place one progress token on each location in the staging area. So that is there. Now then, we're questing for a total of five. We're going to pull the staging card, which is... Each location in the staging area gets plus one until the end of the phase, that's fine. So you're, essentially we kind of disregard this, so now we're on two. But it's five on two, which means we get three, woohoo, three progress points on the east bite. And we have successfully made it through that location. That also means we can now move and travel in our travel phase to the Enchanted Stream. Um, I suppose suppose we don't need to use this anymore because it doesn't no longer contributes threat and now we've got no threat in the staging area which is pretty good hopefully we can make some light work of uh, these two now and I suppose the locations that come up um, in the in the rest of the deck what we really need to do is just smack this guy as quickly as we can down from nine to zero We've, enc uh, we've encountered, we don't have anyone to encounter, we're going into combat. Now, ha, hill troll, you're snared, so that's fine. Nothing to do there. And then done here, and I suppose Denethor with his weird, is that a stick? Yeah, he's got kind of a weird magician's cane, um, are both going to attack him. So we've got two and one for three. I'm going to add three damage points to the hill troll. Um, we're a third of the way there. I feel like this is going well, and again, uh, that makes me nervous. You just have to correct me if I'm doing something wrong, I suppose. So, refresh. We're going to un-exhaust, revive, awaken, however you want to put it, I don't know. Um, and we're going to move up by one. Now, I am pretty tempted to get this. Uh, we're not going to be able, we're not be able to do it next turn, are we? Okay, we'll have to do it. I think the turn after, I think we will probably try and do this. Let's resource, shall we? We'll have one, and a one, and one, and a card, please. Choose an ally with a printed cost of X in any player's discard pile. Plot that ally into play under your control. Who do we have in our discard pile that is worthy of this? I mean, we've got the Wandering Took, but I don't really care about him. No offense. Um, we don't really have anyone good yet, but okay. That's fine, whatever. Do we use this guy to quest? He only quests for one. Or do we use Denethor to quest and you use this guy to fight because he fights better than Denethor? Without knowing what's in here, that's a bit tricky. If we quest with these two, five, let's say we pull a three out of here, or even a two, well, probably a two is more likely, isn't it? So we're doing five here. Pull a two, we're going to quest for three, which will complete this and then put someone here. We might encounter someone up here, so at least we'll have this person free for like blocking and or attacking the hill troll. Okay, ready? That sounds, that's my plan. Again, my planning phase. Um, we're turning into questing phase, so we've got five. Let's stage. Oh, geez. Um, it's some wolves, so they are indeed going to encounter us. Uh, what? Sorry, not wolves, wargs. Um, if Wargs is dealt a shadow card with no effect, return Wargs to the staging area after it attacks. That's interesting. Um, and might actually be kind of... might be helpful to us. Alright, uh, that's fine. So, we've quested, and we did pull a two, so we were questing for five, we pulled a two, so we've got three... This is a, a, a two progress point location, so we put the leftovers on here, and we've actually made progress on the first part of our quest. Oh, 
It's always nice when we kind of get off the mark. Now, we can't travel, because there's no locations to, which is fine. But we will encounter, so we're going to encounter these wargs, and they are going to come into play rather angrily, it would seem. They're going to do three damage. I mean, I suppose there's always the, th there's always the possibility that they do get a shadow card with some shadow ability on it, but then we have this card uh, ready and waiting to cancel it if it's really bad. And we're throwing, f we're throwing a total of four damage with these two. So I think we're in, we're in pretty good stead. So we've encountered the warg. Uh, now we're going to move into combat, aren't we? So we're going to deal him a shadow card. Uh, well, it's, we're not going to be able to attack with four because we have to defend with him, don't we? Unless we take, unless we take all three, which sounds like a bad idea. So yeah, let's, let's defend with our northern tracker. So we'll exhaust him. Let's, what's, what's the shadow card? Defending character does not count its defense so it would kill my northern tracker. I don't like that, actually. So I think I will play this. Cancel shadow effect, just triggered during combat. So let's let's pay to play that, pay one spirit, we'll play that. That, that shadow combat gets taken out of the game or whatever, it gets, gets nullified. He does do one damage, but that's more bearable and I can I can live with that. Our northern tracker's got a bit of a wound. Oh, I shouldn't put it right over his head. <laughs> he's, he's got a giant head wound. We've got done here to do two damage to the hill troll who again cannot attack so we will do two damage to him or I suppose we could do one damage to the warg because maybe that's like he can sit around forever can't he so maybe we do I mean I want to get past him but I also want the warg to go away and if we did one damage to him we could get rid of him probably within another maybe with another turn um, I'm not sure yeah well I'd We'll add one to the warg. Let's just do that and see how it goes. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not entirely convinced that that was the right thing to do, but we're gonna do two against the warg's one, so he gets one damage, and now we're gonna refresh. So we're gonna unexhaust everybody um, after a nice, nice relaxing fight, and then we're gonna add one here, so we're up to 33. Pull a card, which is, ugh, it's another one of these, which, again, we don't have any allies in here. I mean, the spirit the spirit deck isn't known for having a lot of a uh, allies, is it? I mean, it's it's all events and attachments and whatnot. I mean, I guess we could bring the... I suppose we could bring the Wandering Took out. I mean, I suppose, like, he's not the best, but he's also... He could be a bit of cannon fodder, couldn't he? I really I really want to play this, because getting down by six threat feels great. Maybe we just have to see that off for the moment. Maybe we discard one and play one, and then we get a plus one on her questing. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to pay two. We're going to bring back um, the Wandering Took. So we've got a Wandering Took with one defense, one attack. We've got a Northern Tracker with two defense, two attack. Um, up against the Warg and the Hill Troll, who currently cannot attack at all, which is great. And now we need to decide whether to quest, well not whether to quest, but who, with with whom to quest. Now there's nothing in the staging area currently, so that's helpful. We could exhaust Denethor and check, which yes I think it will do, because then if I do that I can check it, then if it's something, well based on what it is, I can then either decide to discard this or not. Um, to give Eowyn another quest point. So let's check it. It is some crows. After Eastern Crows is defeated, shuffle it back into the encounter deck. And it's got a surge, which I I think, if I remember correctly, uh, means that you have to put another encounter card on the board. Um, yeah, screw that. Let's, <laughs> let's put this on the bottom. Um, and take our chances with whatever's next, uh, which could be another Eastern Crows for all I know. Let's quest then, shall we? We're gonna quest with Eowyn, and let's just, I mean, let's just quest for, let's quest for five. I mean, we might as well, and then just get it done. So we're gonna discard this, quest for five, and then we've got seven progress on this first. Oh, wait, of course, I can... I'm not questing for five. I gotta pull this. Oh my gosh, no way. No, 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 no. Did I put that back on the top? I, I have just manifested that. That is ridiculous. Oh, it could be another Eastern Crows for all I know. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> no! That's 
not what's supposed to happen. And I've got to look up the surge rule. Indeed, surge is that we have to pull another card. So let's pull another card. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. That's absolutely terrible. Oh, if I'd have played this, we'd still be below 30. Because we're not, we're going to encounter both the Hill Troll and the Crows. And I think probably going to die. Oh, that's so annoying. Motion sustained. This game is bloody hard. Okay, what are we questing for? Five. Five minus two is three, so we get to put three on here. One, two, three. I'm so frustrated by that. That is proper, <laughs> it's properly annoying. I don't want a hill troll, guys. I don't, I don't want to fight him. I mean, basically, we're just, well, let's move everyone up here, because this is turning from the staging area into just the, the area of death, because all of these folks are going to um, be engaging. At least this at least this one can't attack, but I mean, that's not much help, is it? Um, any damage that this guy does goes to our threat. So that's awful. Um, Fine, whatever. I'll give him some shadow cards because, you know, why not make it just a little bit harder? And then we're going to assign our defenders. So I think that we're going to leave Eastern Crows undefended because he's only got one attack. So we'll just put the damage on one of our heroes. We're going to try to st stop the Hill Troll with the Tracker and the Wargs with the Hobbit. I am so sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't think it matters what goes first. I can't remember. So the wargs, let's see. They're going to be defended by the hobbit. Um, now they've been dealt a shadow card with no effect. So they're, they're going back to the staging area after, after this, which is great. Um, that's three minus one. It's done two damage. So my took that I just brought back from the dead is now dead. Our Eastern Crows are going to do one damage and we'll have him do it to Dunn here because he's got the highest HP. Oh, we didn't pull this. Um, no, no Shadow, so that's that's good. And the Hill Troll. So the Hill Troll, six damage um, against two defense. So that's going to be four combat points minus two to kill him, which means our threat goes up by two. And our tracker is dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the worst. I suppose, actually, you know what? Now we could go, we could attack, we could attack the wargs, couldn't we? Because now the wargs are back in the staging area. Um, so the wargs are back in the staging area, they've they've left after attacking. So Dunhir could attack and kill them, which I know is ignoring this whole, this whole shebang, but I think that's the only thing to do. So we're going to attack with him, we're going to attack with three uh, attack points. We're going to take one, and so we're going to add two hit points to the wargs, which means the wargs are defeated. But oh my gosh, I think like we're in a bit of trouble here. Let's refresh. With 36 threat, we're going to take a card and some resources. Having three of those cards in a row has absolutely screwed me. Now, I suppose we are, we're, I mean, we're, we're literally, go we're going to have to do this um, because we can't not. I mean, I think we're gonna have to bring back our Took again. Yeah, I think we are. I mean, I don't see any other option. Other to, I mean, we've got to have some cannon fodder. Two resources to play that. Bring our Took back the third time. I don't... A zombie being killed and then being brought back as another zombie, that is a new one for me. We don't need to quest with a whole bunch of people because even if we put progress points on here, we still need to defeat the two hill trolls before we go anywhere. Um, so so with that said, we're gonna quest with Eowyn for four. Shall we peek? I mean, didn't really help us last time given that I manifested double crows. Let's not peek, let's just bloody do it. That's fine. We've got a location. So we've got a location in the staging area. It might go off camera now because I think that's I think that's too far away, but this is what we've got, the East Bite, so it's got one threat. I mean, questing for four, one threat, we put three progress tokens on 
And that means we're actually done with this quest, theoretically. We just need to defeat these trolls. Now, how the bloody hell are we going to do that? We don't have anybody that can do more than three damage. I mean, we're all just going to have to attack the same troll, aren't we? And just hope that... And just... <laughs> and just hope that... Gosh, this is going to be an absolute nightmare. Okay, that was our quest. Oh, this is our this is our travel phase, so we are back to the East Bite. We don't encounter anyone, but we are going to enter combat. And so, in combat, we're going to deal the Eastern Crows, we're going to deal the Hill Troll, and we're going to defend from the Hill Troll with the Took. Again, we're going to let the Eastern Crows go undefended. So, the Hill Troll... No shadow effect, so that's good. So the hill troll does six again. Minus one is five. Minus two um, to put on him. So then three adds to our threat. And the took is dead. Again, re-re-dead. Wait, is that re-re-re-dead? He's been killed three times. Yeah, I think he's re-re-re-dead. And then the Eastern Crows deal X shadow cards to this attacker. X is the number of players in the game, so... Here we go, another one. Aha! But there's no shadow effect, so screw you, crows. One attack will... Oops. We'll, we'll go back on... Uh, well, let's put it on Eowyn, because... Sorry, Eowyn, but I mean, all you're doing is questing. We still don't have enough to even dent the hill troll. We've got two plus one. It's not even going to be enough to get past his bloody shield. We've either got a choice of just attacking, killing the crows, or doing two damage... Sorry, three damage to the hill troll. I suppose that's what we do, because it's... I mean, this is bad, but it's not the worst. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We're going to do three damage to the hill troll, and then we're going to exhaust Denethor and look at the top of the deck. Deal one damage to each character controlled by each player with a threat of 35 or higher. Well, that's me. I don't really want that. Yeah, I'm going to put that at the bottom. And then we're going to go refresh. So that's one, and two, and three refresh. And we're up to 40, goodness me. Three resources and a card. Cancel the when revealed effect of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck. I mean, I need... I need people. I need people. I need... I need, I need soldiers. I need folks to, to go out here and get their head smashed in by, by a hill troll. I don't need silly spells and stuff. Um, this might be our last turn. <laughs> well, no, it won't, but it, it might signal the end. Uh, um, planning phase. Well, if I had enough, I would definitely play this, but um, we don't. So so I guess we're just going to quest. Um, we're going to quest for four again. We're going to stage. Oh my god. No. No, guys. This is a joke. Four versus one is three onto the bite. I can't believe that. That was our quest. This is our travel. We're done. This is our encounter. So we've got two Eastern Crows now. No one with whom to defend ourselves from. Combat, combat, and combat. Or what I meant is shadow. So this. This hill troll, I mean, who's he going to kill? That's pretty much the question, isn't it? So, um, we're going to leave him undefended. Attacking enemy gets plus one, um, plus two instead if this attack is undefended. It is that. So he's going to do an eight damage to Denethor, which gives Denethor minus two health. And I bl believe the last time I took remedial math, that is bad. Um, was that biology? I can't remember. So that's bad. All those resources go away too. And then we're going to use... Well, we're going to... I suppose we're just going to... This will get... Oh, my God. Remove one progress token from the current... Oh, that's... That is brutal. Remove one progress token from the current quest. Three progress tokens instead if this attack is undefended. Now, I had a bit of confusion in my last video about what, what quest and what was lo location. I think that means we do have to take it from the quest. So, even though we thought we'd finished... We have not finished. Three progress points off. Oh, it took me so long to get those. And then it's going to do one damage to one of my heroes, which, uh, I mean, I guess we'll do one to each of them. And then the shadow enemy for this one. And we'll do one damage to Eowyn. There was no shadow effects on that card. 
Now then, I mean, we are actually going to have to... I mean, I'd like to kill the hill troll just to get the victory points so I can say it wasn't a complete disaster. But if we've got two Eastern Crows on the board next turn around, Eowyn and Dunhir will die. I think we have to kill a crow. So uh, Dunhir is going to kill a crow. Stupid crow. When it's defeated, shuffle, shuffle it back into the encounter deck. As if there's not enough of them already in there. We've already seen, what, four of them now? One, two, three. Or three. Okay, Crow, you're back where you belong. At least next turn we can probably reduce our threat. Maybe a little bit. That's. Uh, we're gonna refresh, 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 and resource. We only get two now. Only two resources a turn because. Don't even remember his name. Denethor's gone. Uh, I'm gonna pull a card. Return one spirit card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, let's check. I mean, we could. I suppose we could do the Wandering Took again. We've got enough for the Northern Tracker too, although, to be fair, I don't think he's going to do anything good. Should we just bring back the Took? We'll bring back the Took, for old time's sake. He doesn't go into the battlefield, though, unfortunately. He just goes into the hand. So we've got a choice whether we, we, need, we, whether we want to remove six threat or whether we want to put out our Took. Good thing about the Took, he can take some damage. I mean, he'll just get killed again by the Hill Troll. I mean, are we questing this turn? Maybe it's all hands on deck. Although, then we'll definitely increase the threat level by something, which I don't really want to do. Let's... Let's play the Took. I'm going to play the Took down. We're going to quest for four. Quest for four, stage this. Oh my goodness. Um, the Dull Goldor Beast Master. We're putting two progress points on this, um, but we're going to encounter him um, right now. So we'll just we'll keep him, I guess, right here. Things are getting messy. I think that's game over, isn't it? Um, Hill Troll kills Wandering Took, um, which gives us up, th which gives us up three. Plus a shadow card, which was nothing. Dol Goldor Beastmaster gets two shadow cards because he's a bloody boss, and he's gonna he's gonna do three damage plus. Oh, defending character doesn't doesn't count its defending character doesn't count its defense and deal one damage to each ex exhausted character. Well, I can take that one off at least. So we'll play that, cancel that when revealed effect. But the defending character doesn't use its defense, so that's uh, three on Eowyn. So Eowyn is dead, and then the Eastern Crows do one damage to Dun here, which, you know, fair play, he's doing all right for himself, but facing a pretty insurmountable task at this point. He's going to attack and kill a hill troll, because that's just out of spite, mostly. One, two... Three. That's nine on the hill troll. So you, my disgusting, ugly friend, are dead. But uh, you know what? I think we're gonna call it. Uh, I think we're gonna call it. Uh, he, he's not gonna survive, is he? I mean, so oh, bloody hell, this game is difficult. We didn't even get past the first. Que we 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 could have. I think once we pull the second hill troll, that was it. That was game over. Um, because, honestly, once you've got two of these on the on the battlefield, um, then y you're really just screwed. That is going to be it from me. Hope you've enjoyed this second quest. Um, do not forget to drop a like, leave me a comment. Uh, I'm sure that I've got some rules wrong in this one because, as I said, I'm, I'm a bit rusty. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, pardon my hiccups that I've had through the entirety of this video. <laughs> and, um, yeah. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you for a thousand views. I, I'm amazingly um, honoured and can't wait to show you guys um, some more solo board games. That's it from me. Thank you so much. See you later.